In this video, we will be discussing setting up a project in CIFA, and we will introduce the tool's file structure. To access the CIFA tool, we will go to EPA's Cluin website at cluin.org slash greenradiation slash CIFA. We then scroll down to Access CIFA Workbooks and download each of the three workbook files. Then, we want to place each of the workbooks into a file folder for our project. I made a folder called New Project. Next, let's rename each of the workbooks. I'd like to name each one according to the workbook type and then use the name of my project. But use whatever file naming structure makes the most sense to you. Now, let's open up each of the workbook files. The CIFA tool consists of three Excel-based workbooks that need to be opened simultaneously whenever you are using the tool. First, we have the main workbook. This is where we enter project information and can see the tool's outputs, which are the metrics that quantify the environmental footprint of the cleanup project. Next, we have the input workbook, which is where we enter the more specific project details. You will notice that in each workbook, there is a reference error. This means that the workbooks are currently unable to talk to each other. To fix this, we need to tell each workbook the names and locations of the other workbook files. Next to input file name, we will give the name of the input file. This is the naming structure that we came up with earlier. If the workbook files are not saved in the same directory, we also need to enter the path name of the input file. However, we put all the workbook files into the same folder when we started, so we can leave this line blank. We must now do this for the remaining two workbooks. To finish setting up the CIFA tool, we will enter some basic information about our project in the General tab of the main workbook. We can first give the site name and the remedy name. On this sheet, you will also enter the remedy component names, which is discussed in the next video. Lastly, we can also enter additional information about our project in the overview section. You will notice that the CIFA tool utilizes different color coding across the workbooks. Yellow cells and sheets are the ones we use for inputting project information. The other colors are for cells that we shouldn't modify. For example, green cells are for instructions, Blue and orange cells contain calculated values, and gray cells are programmed for performing the tool's calculations. To confirm that we set up our files correctly, we can take a look at the other workbooks and notice that the names we entered now appear across each of the different workbooks. The CIFA tool is now set up for our cleanup project, and we are ready to go.